Remember when I used to hold you for all of these? Hmm? You don't miss that, do you? <laughs> Are you ready for some good news? She's still here, she's just down there. Anyway, first up, the results of a new clinical trial could lead to an increase in the number of available donor organs. At any given moment, there are over 100,000 people in need of organ transplants in the United States alone. Unfortunately, the demand for donated organs is far larger than the available supply. But a clinical trial conducted by doctors at Penn Medicine may provide a way to increase that supply by providing a way for patients to safely receive organs from donors infected with hepatitis C. Organs from potential donors infected with hep C are typically discarded as too high risk to transplant. In the Penn Medicine clinical study, 10 patients received kidneys from hep C infected donors. The patients were then treated with a recently approved antiviral therapy, which succeeded in curing all 10 of them of hep C. This clinical trial has been extended and the team behind it is also working on expanding their approach to cover not only kidney transplants, but heart, liver, and lung transplants as well. More research is needed and our optimism should remain guarded, but the ability to safely transplant organs from an infected donor without permanently infecting the recipient would be the very definition of good news for those waiting for life-saving transplants. This study is published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And the cat has relocated again. Here, let me give you a little update on her status. There she is. Adi Kenz. Why don't you come back over here with Papa and finish the video? Is that a no? That's a no then. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, so next up, some more good news for aspiring Martian home builders. Two weeks ago, I shared a story about a technique that had been developed for 3D printing using materials available on the Moon and Mars. This week, there's this story from UC San Diego's Department of Structural Engineering, where a team has come up with a way of manufacturing bricks from Martian soil that doesn't require the application of heat or the addition of a binding agent. The team found that Martian soil, or rather the simulated version they were using, could be compacted into dense, durable bricks using only pressure. The bricks made using this process were tested and found to be stronger than steel-reinforced concrete. The only problem is that they're a bit small, only about an inch high. But the first human missions to Mars are tentatively scheduled for the early to mid-2030s, so the team has plenty of time to figure out how to make them bigger. This study is published in Nature Scientific Reports. Adikins, is there anything I can do? to persuade you to come back and finish the video? Anything at all? No? All right. I won't forget this. Anyway, finally, a new study suggests that chimpanzees may not be our closest non-human relatives after all. Back on topic, the study conducted by researchers at the George Washington University Center for Advanced Study of Human Paleobiology concluded, based on a comparison of muscular systems, that bonobos are more closely related to the last common ancestor of humans and other modern apes than chimps. It's currently estimated that last common ancestor lived around 8 million years ago. Then, around two million years ago, the lineages of chimps and bonobos diverged. The muscles of bonobos have changed the least during that time, making them, according to this study, the closest modern approximation to that last common ancestor. Incidentally, bonobos, like all non-human apes, are considered an endangered species, primarily threatened by human-driven habitat destruction and poaching. Sorry, that's definitely not good news, but it's something we should all be aware of. Nonetheless, bonobos, chimps, and the other great apes should be protected. After all, they're family. The George Washington University study on bonobos is also published in Nature Scientific Reports. Okay, see, now you're just taunting me. You're just openly taunting me. 
with this, this flagrant insubordination. I only ask you to work one day a week. You can't even give me that. Anyway, folks, doctors are able to cure patients who received hep C infected organ transplants. Engineers devise a way to make no bake bricks from Martian soil. And a new study might require us to do a bit of rearranging on the human evolutionary family tree. That's the good news. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. And I'm sure Adi would ask you to do that very thing if she were here instead of like four feet away bathing herself on the floor. Are you, last chance. You wanna come back and, no? That armpit's gonna be clean.